The Schoology assessment piece has a really nice question type called Highlight Image. And what Highlight Image does, it allows the students to actually annotate on top of an image that you insert into the question. So this could be really helpful for teachers for math who want to see the thought process as to how students solve a problem. You could do, use it in social studies where the students are annotating on top of maps or different images, signs, if they're lab labeling different parts of a microscope or a skeleton, etc. So I'm going to show you how to create that question type. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new assessment. Um, and again, a little tip is if you want to create an assessment and make sure it goes into a folder that you actually want. What you can do is hover your mouse below the a folder if you want it inside a folder so you can create an assessment exactly in the specific folder where you want it to go. And then I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click add assessment. So there's a few different things that you need to fill out for this assessment. Anything with an asterisk is required. So you do have to title this assessment. I would suggest selecting a due date because this will make it appear in the student calendar and also show up in their list of things to do. If you don't put a due date, it will not show up there. You assign a point value. You do have to make sure that you enable submissions because by default it is on disable. So if you don't enable it, the students won't actually be able to take your assessment. Um, password we're not going to put in here. You do have to choose a category. Uh, we'll put this as quizzes. Um, you don't have to select a grading period, but it is an option, and you also have the numeric scale and the alphabetic scale if you want to. And then once you have all this required information, you're going to click. So I have all of this information now filled out. I'm going to click Create, which is going to bring me to some settings that I can change for this particular assessment. So we're not really going to go through this here, but you can scroll down. You do have an area over here where you can put instructions for the students on this entire assessment. And then if you go down below and you scroll down, you will see some other settings that are by default set up for you, and you can read through them and adjust any if you want. If you come down to the bottom where it says student settings, by default you will see students are not allowed to see their results after they um, submit their assessment. So you can change that if you want, and the attempts by default is one. So I'm not going to make any changes on this, so I don't need to hit save. So then what I'm going to do is come over to questions. So now I can start adding questions to my assessment on the left hand side. You're going to see all the different question types. So what I'm going to do is scroll down to the one that we're focusing on, which is called highlight image. So in highlight image, there's two bits of information you need to fill out. So where it says question setup, this is where you're actually going to put the, the question that you want the students to answer or directions as to what you want them to do on the image that you're going to upload. Um, a side note, for this particular question type, it can only be a JPEG or um, some kind of image format. You can't upload a PDF or a Word doc. So if you do have um, a PDF or a Word doc that you want the students to annotate on top of, there are ways to convert it to a JPEG, which I'll show you on the side. Very simple to do. But if you do find an image online, and you right click on it and save it locally, you can upload that image. So for example, let's say we're doing this as a math problem and we want the students to solve this. So I have my problem here. I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so that it stands out a little bit more. And then I'm going to click upload image. So I already have this image saved. And for this particular type of question, because they're going to be just solving a math problem, I was able to find just a blank piece of paper in a JPEG format. So you can do that if there's nothing particular that you need the students to label and you just need sort of a blank canvas, you can go online and you can just, you know, Google notebook paper JPEG or anything of that nature. So I'm going to click on this file and I'm going to click open. It's going to upload it. It gives you a little preview of what the image looks like and then you're going to click OK. So you don't see the image once you've clicked OK. But it is there, and I'll show you. You'll be able to preview this over here. These are the colors that the students are going to have in terms of writing and solving any of this. There are some other options over here. You can attach learning objectives if you want. So I'm just going to click Preview. So you can see here the instructions are here, and the students will have this piece of paper, and they're going to have this drop down where they can pick their colors. And they'll be able to uh, use a stylus or use their finger if they have a touch screen and actually work out this problem. And the nice thing about this is it doesn't just show the, their final work. It will actually record their writing as they are working out the problem, which I'll show you later. So I'm going to save this question. So now the question is here, and you're going to assign it a point value. 
and then you can continue on and add additional uh, questions to this. So just so you can see what this is going to look like on the student end, I am now over in this course as a student and I'm going to come over to that question that I just created. I'm going to click on sample assessment. The students are presented with this screen. They're starting with their attempt. So now they're going to be presented with that question that we just created. They can pick their color. They're going to work out their problem. And again, it's going to record all of this so that you'll be able to see their thought process. And we have x equals 5. Done. There's only one question to this assessment, otherwise they would be prompted to move on to their the next question. So once they're done with the entire assessment, they click review, they click finish, and now you're going to just click yes. And then we'll jump back over to the teacher end so you can see what a teacher can see once a student has submitted this type of question. So now I'm back over as the teacher of this course and I know a student has submitted this. I did get a notification in my notification bar and it's something that I have to grade. So I'm going to click on the name of the assessment that I want to look at the submissions for. And you can see here grading, needs grading. So the student has submitted it. So what I'm going to do is click on the question. And any student who has submitted it will be listed here. And you can see it actually records it and works it out in real time. And then over here, you can assign a point value if they did it correctly or partial, whatever you want to do. And it is automatically saved. And then you would be able to move on to the next question or the next student who has submitted it. And that's really about it. It's a very easy tool. Before I go, I'm just going to show you how to quickly convert a document if you need to convert something as a JPEG, if it is in a school, uh, a Word format or a PDF format. This is Zamzar.com is a free file conversion. It's been around for a long time. It works really well. So if you have a Word document PDF saved and you want to convert it to a JPEG so that you can use it for this particular assessment question, go to Zamzar.com, click Add File. You're going to locate the document that you want to convert. So let's say this is a math fractions worksheet. It's in Word format. I'm going to click Open. Then you're going to select how you want to convert it. So we'll scroll down to image formats and we'll go to JPEG, convert now. Usually doesn't take any more than 15, 20 seconds. And once it's downloaded, it will tell you and you'll be able to open it, save it, and then you'll be able to use it as part of your question. So you can see here it's done. I'm going to go over here and download it. Here it is. Math Fractions JPEG, download. If I click on it, once it's been downloaded, it opens up in photos because it is now a photo. And I can come up to the upper and I can now save this to wherever I want it and use it as part of the highlight image. And that's really all there is to it, to using that particular question type in Schoology.